Okay, now next thing we need to do is calculate that test statistic, and that's a fraction, so I am going to have to type that out. So I'm going to type out that I'm calculating the test statistic, and I'm going to insert another equation to type out that fraction, and it is a fraction. First I'm going to say t equals, because it is the t statistic, and I'm going to do the first option for the fraction. Now, I'm going to type out the formula, which is not something you have to do, but I'm going to show you um, why we need to go over to Excel and do some calculations. Okay. So, x bar minus the mu s over the square root of n. And you're going to see that what we need for our formula, it's going to give you a good idea. And I'm going to make sure I put the bar over the x. To the accents. Oh. What we need to calculate from Excel. Now, some of this stuff is not necessary to calculate from Excel, like the um, mu actually comes from our hypothesis, so that's the standard deviation. But I do need to go over to Excel to calculate a couple statistics. And remember, we're doing this for costs. So I'm going to go over to Excel. I have my cost formula, and I need a couple descriptive statistics. So I'm going to go to the Data tab, the Data Analysis, and I need some descriptive statistics. And I'm going to do this for cost. So I'm going to highlight that cost. I did highlight the label, so i got to make sure I, I click that box. And I want to click the Summary Statistics box. Okay. Now the only thing that are important for this are the mean, the standard deviation, and the number of data points. So I'm actually going to get rid of all of this information. So I'm just going to do, I'm going to do a, a right click and a delete. Um, the variance, the kurtosis, the skewness, the min, the max, the sum, that can all go. Right click and a delete. And I have the three pieces of information I need. So I'm going to copy that over. And I'm going to do some calculations. Now I'm going to move it down a little bit so I have room to do my, my equation calculation above it. And I'm going to insert another equation. Oh, you can see I typed on the arrow. And I'm going to continue out that fraction. I'm going to fill in my information. X bar is the sample mean from Excel. So in this case, 131.33. The mu is always the the value in our hypothesis. So in this case it's 125. The S is the standard deviation, 98.03. We'll do two decimal places. Divided by, square root comes from the radical sign, and that N is the number of data points, or what Excel calls the count. So I'm going to do some math here, and I'm going to show you some steps in between so you could follow along with my math. Um, 131.33 minus 125 is 6.33. 98.03 divided by the square root of 21, and I did get out a calculator to do all this math, is that. And then we do our division, and we get 0 0.29. Okay, so I've got my t-statistic. And again, if you want to move those over to the left, that's an easy easy thing to do just by changing the justification. And then I would include my Excel output. That helps show where I got the values for those t-statistics. That's important to show that where you got them from. My last thing I have to include is my conclusion. And remember, if my test statistic is in between the two critical values, then I'm okay to accept the null hypothesis, right? or fail to reject. If it's greater than or, or uh, less than on the other side, then we do reject. But since 0 0.295 is in between my two critical values, of negative 2.086 and 2.086, 
we fail to reject the null hypothesis. What does that mean? Make sure you explain it in practical terms. Based on our data set that we have, we don't have enough evidence to reject the null hypothesis that the mean cost per vet visit is $125. So we do want to explain that out in words. And that is our hypothesis test. That's a, that's a single hypothesis test. Please remember that your individual project has two, two distinct hypothesis tests. So you should have two of these. But that's everything you need to type and calculate and explain for one single hypothesis test.